one just yelled out their car window, are you the guy on the news? And so I said, it's not me, it's us. Ultra day, ultra day, zero drop. There they are, Pro Vision 4's first impressions, not my full review. That'll happen after 50 miles, but that 50 miles is actually gonna come pretty quick because I am loving this shoe so far. And yes, in full on recovery mode after the 50 miles, uh, legs feel heavy today, but not sore, okay? Uh, but first, real quick, the number that I shared with all of you yesterday is going to be significantly not accurate, meaning, the pledges are coming in and it's amazing, okay? So I'm not gonna give you the final number today, probably early next week because a couple people want to support but they just, they don't, you know, they don't have a smartphone, they don't know how to uh, use like PayPal or Venmo, which is totally fine. So they're actually gonna send checks. Um, so bottom line, thank you again for your generosity. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Okay, let's lace up in the Ultra Pro Vision Force. Shout out to all the first responders, EMS, you know, everyone getting everyone to the hospitals that, who knows, are just might have health issues right now. Oh, you know who you are. You really are the front lines of this battle. But we will win. We're stronger together. We will win. Wow, someone in the neighborhood set up a little stand of food. It says give and take. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. And there it is, there it is. Ultra Pro Vision 4, first impression. Putting this guy on the shelf there. Okay, so who's been onto your Strava profile before where you can add running shoes to your profile and there's a drop down list of all the running shoe companies that you can select from. I have never counted the entire list, but it, it seems like there's a couple hundred running shoe companies you can choose from. It's incredible, like there are so many different uh, running shoe styles and brands and companies out there on the market, like shoe companies you have never heard of, but they're out there. So question, not the question of the day, but first question, who has never heard of Ultra? Let us know down in the comments, because frankly, it's a little bit of an outlier company, but they are becoming more and more ingrained into the running shoe landscape, at least in the United States, and especially, I would say, in the trail running, ultra running community. But I do think they're starting to make more and more inroads into the road running shoe landscape. But outside the United States, let us know, like, have you ever heard, and it's spelled A-L-T-R-A. So this guy, the Pro Vision 4, is a gently, I'll say gently stabilized road running shoe from Ultra. That's how you spell it on your screen right there. And I'll say right up front that Ultra is a completely different feel compared to other running shoe companies. So two points real quick is that every Ultra shoe is zero drop, okay? So that means the stack height in the heel and the forefoot is exactly the same. So the slope inside the shoe uh, inside on, for the footbed where your foot is resting on is zero drop, all right? And also, the shape of the shoe, you can probably see it just holding it up right here in the studio for you, is, sh is shaped, I would say, 
a little more like a foot, all right? So that's another big uh, component of ultra running shoes is they, they try to make their shoes to be shaped like the what they consider to be the natural shape of a human foot. Now for the Pro Vision 4, I'm seeing a couple conflicting reports on the stack height. So I'm seeing 21 millimeter in the heel and the forefoot, but I'm also seeing 27 millimeter. So I actually haven't measured it myself. I will put it on the screen right now. So that's what I'm measuring, but keeping in mind that I take I take the sock liner or the insole out of the shoe when I measure stack height for running shoes. Moving on to the weight, we're looking at 10.1 ounces for men's size 9 or 8.6 ounces for women's size 8. And there's the grams for everyone outside the US, uh, and there it is on your screen in my size. Moving on to the upper, the top of the shoe of the Pro Vision 4, it's an engineered mesh. I'm gonna say it is breathable, okay? Just going on the streets today, it felt I could feel the breeze on my toes, uh, so that felt good. And so I suspect in the summertime, this will be an okay shoe for hot temperatures. We shall see. It's It was only about, I think it was about 70 degrees today in Denver, uh, Fahrenheit, so not very warm yet. And yes, that foot shape is written right there on the toe box, and you can again just see the shape of the shoe is very unique compared to, well, I'll just grab, well, that might not be a great comparison, but even the glide ride there just holding it up it is a, a wider toe box big note if you have a very narrow foot and this is where I'm gonna push back a little bit against ultra um, what if your foot is really narrow okay um, well, you know my foot is not the widest foot uh, out there so if you have a really narrow uh, foot I'm gonna suspect that this uh, that the ultra shoe lineup is, is probably not gonna work for you uh, what they're trying to accomplish is that they want your toes inside the toe box right here on the shoe to really spread out and not be scrunched up, which um, I I guess lot like just thinking out loud like that's that makes sense to me. Like you don't want your toes to be scrunched up too much. But for me, I'm always saying it for racing shoes. I prefer to feel really locked into the shoe like I don't want any wiggling happening in a shoe. And that is why I have never raced in an ultra shoe. In fact, if you have raced in ultra shoes, uh, maybe make your case down in the comments once again, like why do you love or like racing in ultra shoes? For me, I'm just, um, it would be, I wouldn't feel uh, locked down enough personally uh, to race in an ultra shoe. Two more quick points on the upper heel counter, no issues, very comfortable, loving the heel counter, uh, even with some remnants from my blisters. Uh, yeah, no issues with the heel counter. Now, craziness if you are a running shoe fanatic and you love running shoes you love uh, breaking down running shoes and just really analyzing running shoes you might want to buy this shoe just so you can break down and look at the eyelet chain on the Pro Vision 4. It's absolutely insane. And it's really hard to film. I'll try and do my best uh, just to put it up on the screen right now for you. It is a, it's, I'm gonna call it a half gusseted tongue. All right, so the inside of the shoe, uh, yeah, inside of the shoe uh, is gusseted, but it's like the, the eyelet chain is alternating uh, just in a very, very unique way. So again, if you love unique running shoes, I'm gonna say you should pick up the Pro Vision 4 just so you can see how they're doing the eyelet chain. And I'm gonna say I love, love the lockdown with respect to right on top of your foot. Not so much in the toe box, but right on top of your foot. Ultra, it feels amazing. So, so comfortable through the eyelet chain and lacing up just spot on. Like I'm really, I, I need to do some more testing, but I'm really, really excited about what Ultra uh, innovation, I'm gonna say right now, they are innovating with respect to how you lace up in the Pro Vision 4. One last point on the upper, almost forgot, Ultra has put in their guide rail. You see it here on the side. I actually really like how Ultra approaches their stabilized shoes, but this is a very gentle stability shoe, meaning uh, a neutral runner, runner like myself is not going to notice that guide rail too, too much. It's not overly aggressive for overpronation correction, which many of you have noticed that I do overpronate a little bit. So I'm pretty excited about this guide rail here on the medial side, so the inside of your foot. Okay, moving on to that midsole and outsole. So EVA foam through the midsole 
and I do l I like it a lot everybody I like it's it's dense but not too dense you know what I mean enough to absorb the pounding but it doesn't feel too firm through the foot strike in fact I've noticed that in some other ultra shoes as well and I'm not the chemist or the scientist I, I would be fascinated because you know a lot of running shoe companies use EVA uh, for their midsoles and uh, I just, but I, I know there's differences and I wish on a scientific level I had more experience uh, to figure out, okay, why does Ultra feel different than, than Hoka, for example. So anyway, bottom line, I'm loving the midsole with respect to the absorbing of the, the, the foot strike and the pounding. Okay, real quick, outsole, nothing too crazy happening. Actually quite a bit of uh, outsole protection as far as the, the rubber there. You can see it there on your screen right now, which tells me, I'm gonna say right now, uh, mileage prediction, I'm gonna go with 450 to 500 miles at least in the ProVision 4. Again, I, I, I doubt I'll take this shoe to that kind of mileage, but who knows? Bottom line, I'm liking the outsole for a road shoe. And yes, there is a little bit of exposed EVA right through the midfoot. Moving on to that fit and comfort. So what's interesting about the fit for ultra shoes is that they don't go half sizes below size eight. And so I had to go up to a half size up and it's actually okay. Uh, it's definitely roomy in the toe box for me, but again, you're gonna splay out anyway because their toe boxes are so wide. So fit is okay. Um, but I guess if you have a narrow fit, you just really want to go into a running shoe store and make sure there's not too much room through the toe box. For comfort, again, really comfortable upper, especially through that eyelet chain and the top of your foot, the tongue, how the tongue rests on top of your foot. Oh, mwah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, and then I will say, for the Pro Vision, it would be fascinating to see this shoe with two to three more millimeter stack height. I think I'd be really jumping for the shoe to buy it again for easy day recovery days especially uh, if it had a, just a little more stack height a little more midsole foam uh, through yeah through that midsoles but maybe who knows maybe in future iterations they will do that for my positive and my drawback okay I, this is tough uh, for drawback I'm just gonna say I'm having a hard time picking one which is a good sign for the shoe except maybe the half size down. If this was in my size, I think I'd be a little more excited about it, but I had to go a half size up. That's my only little drawback uh, as far as actually purchasing the shoe. But uh, for my positive, oh, so many things to talk about, but I'm gonna go with, it's crazy, everybody. I'm gonna go with the sock liner, that's right, or the insole, what you pull out of the shoe. It actually has these little uh, raised, uh, I'll just call them bumps or not divots because divots go in, but yeah, just little bumps on and they, I must say, this is a really, really well thought out sock liner, incredibly comfortable, nice little cushion to help take the edge off. Um, and then it almost feels like you're getting a little gentle, I know this is crazy, but like a little gentle massage as you're running because of this sock line. Like it feels really, really nice. I hope you can see those little raised bumps on the, I'm really enjoying it. And it, the first run, you think about those bumps a lot, but even, but on today's run, like I didn't think about it at all, uh, but it just feels nice uh, just to help, I don't know, give your feet a little bit of relaxation inside the shoe. So I'm gonna go with that as actually my number one positive so far for the Ultra Pro Vision 4. Now, how will I use this shoe moving forward? Easy days, yeah. I don't know if I would take it. I definitely wouldn't take it like to a tempo pace or anything faster than that. Uh, and I don't, man, maybe, you know what? I should probably, all right, I'll take it out for a middle distance or long run in a couple weeks, maybe in like 10 days from now, okay? I'll, so I'll test it out for longer distances. But for right now, I'm gonna say easy day shoe for me. And who is it best for? Uh, if you love zero drop shoes or if you have a really wide uh, forefoot and you just need a lot of room, I would definitely, I, I'd look at the entire Ultra lineup in case you've never heard of this company before. For the price we're looking at, $130. I think they nailed it. I don't think it needs to be higher. I don't think it needs to be lower. I'm happy with $130, uh, especially if you can get that 450, even 500 plus miles out of the Pro, and there it is in kilometers on your screen for the Pro Vision 4. All right, everyone, I'm excited. First ultra shoe of 2020. Let's rock and roll. Question of the day, ultra fans, it's your time to shine down in the comments. Let us know uh, why you love zero drop running shoes and what is your favorite ultra shoe 
right now for 2020. All right, trail or road or racing. All right, that works as well. All right, so here's the deal. I don't have an ultra uh, playlist yet on the channel, but guess what? In the next month or two, I'm gonna be running in a lot more ultra running shoes, so stay tuned for a playlist. Uh, but I will toss it back right now to the last ultra shoe that I tested out on the channel, which, gosh, I think it was the Lone Peak, okay? So right there, I believe. But anyway, it'll be an, another ultra shoe right there. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Onward and upward. Keep buttering that bread, everyone. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.